Hello everybody, welcome back to the Witcher Let's Play series with me, your host, Darkside. Glad you guys could stop by. Um, we're going to continue a quest today. I started at the uh, Novigrad Oxenfurt Gate. Um, in our last video, we came over here in Novigrad and we picked up uh, some treasure from a smuggler's cache and a, a guarded treasure from a basilisk and then on a boat to the left uh, to the right of this island or to the right of this island we picked up the uh, some feline uh, cat school gear so we're gonna continue with that quest and go explore the temple isle um, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get there um, I'll show you the way. Um, while I'm on the way, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I was, I was kind of listening to, and I felt kind of, <clears throat> I guess I had an opinion about it that kind of made me laugh. Is, is the best way I can put it. Um, it basically was 1.05. <laughs> I swear to God to you guys, I have seen somebody like this in the streets of New York like on a train. I used to live in New York City and I swear to God there used to be a guy that used to ride the J train in New York City that rode around like that and he matter of fact you know what just so you know I'm not lying if you watch the movie Kids it had Rosario Dawson in it it's old as hell like I, I'm, I'm, I'm showing my age by that but it is old as hell and there was a there was a scene inside that movie where the where the guy was born there and they were riding a train he was singing a song that he did too I have no legs I have no legs I, I know that's not supposed to be as funny as I'm thinking it is in my head but it, it yeah okay anyways so 1.05 was delayed it finally got released this um, uh, this afternoon and uh, thank God right so it fixed a lot of things a lot of people were having problems um, Oh, a lot of people were having problems with um, with uh, with the game and getting it to work and things dropping. So let's hope that it fixed everything. Uh, if you notice on my HUD screen already, you can tell that they increased the HUD size. I'm going to go back and try to figure out how to decrease the HUD size. Um, because it's too big for me. I like smaller screen estate. I like when the pop-ups are big, but I hate when the HUD is is so huge and yeah, I don't really like it um so when don't go up there go down here to the bottom um make sure you do that so while 1.05 was being delayed I guess that gave room for a lot of people to be pissed off at CD project you know we were promised this and we were promised that uh and this is what we got for the game and this is shit like literally you know nobody was complaining just you know literally days before everybody was so ecstatic about the game and then you know people started complaining about this and that and most of the conversation revolved around uh, graphics and the diminished graphics that happened from when the game was announced to now and CD you know I guess it's this whole debacle or whatever but hey, is it really um, Storm, so and I've been watching a couple of YouTube uh, personalities and so forth weigh in on it and I kind of agree with them um, game's not all about graphics like you know a lot of this is about story and especially when you talk about a game like uh, the Witcher and stuff like that now yeah like if I'm walking around certain areas and I look at certain things is it does does, does it diminish the game some yes like I'm look standing on top of this rock and look at the textures on these rocks right here but then for some reason the textures on these rocks right here look a little bit better but then I can see how flat the surfaces are but then you you'll go to other areas and and mind you I'm playing on a on PC ultra settings uh, 1080p 60 frames per second and it's not affecting my computer whatsoever I've got two 970s and SLI and I probably don't even need those in order to freaking pump out what what I'm getting for this game there are other places in the game where the graphics are beautiful especially for a game that you consider of the size and scope that this game is so yeah this you know you took some to give some and it kind of sucks that you know you took that they took some because they did it in order to fit you know the console users in mind and 
you know, if you would have just developed it for PC, then, you know, we wouldn't have got the game that we got because there's no way that they would have An got evolution. the funding for it. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of that kind of, that kind of thing where you, you got to give something to take something. And unfortunately, that's, that's the truth. That's the truth. Could you imagine if CD Projekt had just tried to publish this game by themselves, you know, and uh, on just PC without, you know, worrying about console buyers? Now, at some point in the future, I'm thinking that people are going to get more wise, especially with the success of games like Pillars of Eternity and so forth, where they're going to get wiser to the fact that, you know what, we can probably, if, 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 if we're a known publisher, a known entity, and people really want something, and we turn out really quality product, people will pay for it. Like, Kickstarter is how Pillars of Eternity got pushed, and if you're not playing that game and you are an old school, you know, D&D &D fan, you know, Ice Dale, Baldur's Gate, I highly suggest you check it out. I picked it up because to me it kind of reminded me a little bit of um, Path of Exile and some of the other games that I'm playing as well at the time, but at, at the moment. But there's so much in this game to be had for, you know, to be said about what C Project was able to accomplish. And the truth is, is that there's already mods out for the game now i'm waiting for some uh some more of the uh i guess to put it the best way i can say it is the mods that are um how do you say it the mods that are more functional rather than game breaking so like for instance one of my big issues with the game um is the gps i think i've said this on more than one occasion i hate it it sucks Another issue is that if you notice in the game, we are locked in on view. Like, the camera is locked. Unless we're zooming in, and I'm assuming some of it had to be done because of this weird, the, uh, the Witcher sense and stuff like that. But I would like to be able to zoom in and zoom out for my character so that way I can see stuff, you know, real easy. But apparently that's not in the game. And I would like stuff like that, you know, so like GPS tracking, uh, better GPS tracker, uh, the ability to zoom in, zoom out on the character. Um, there, there's a couple of things here and there that I would like. The, uh, the game's not great. <laughs> to me, it's not. And I think it's lying to... It, it's, it's disheartening to say that it is. Uh, it's not a 10 out of 10. It, it's funny that people were willing to go with those review scores and that's what they were able to see was yeah we got a 10 out of 10 for this game and let's believe it and now all of a sudden you know they're deep into this and they're realizing maybe this game is not really a 10 out of 10 it and you know it's subjective people are already talking about this game's game of the year it's freaking great Oh really? Now you wanna come out? That's okay. Come on. Yeah, I know your game, son. Like that's the kind of stuff that I mean. Haha, <laughs> 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 you miss. If you notice, I just I just kind of cast the um, Quinn because it was a level seven. I'm at this point. I'm level thirteen. Um, so I'm kind of playing down, um, down to the some of these monsters, and that's kind of the point that that was another point that I, I I brought up. To me, a game like this should realistically probably had follow the Oblivion model, where everything scaled with you. I understand a complaint about Oblivion was that you never got to feel like this all powerful character. I'm sorry, you're, that's not the real world. You never feel like the real realism of even fantasy is that there's always something bigger and badder if you love anime and one of your favorite animes is dragon ball z there is always somebody bigger and badder than you you name an anime and you tell me where naruto there's always somebody bigger and badder than you that's realism that's a true story if you want to feel like you're overpowered and, and like you're the baddest bitch on the block then go ahead you know command console it and change it up as you see fit but that's not realistic you're never gonna be the biggest bad guy on the block all the time i do i i train mma and i train with uh some muay thai fighters and stuff like this 
and even those guys you know everybody wants to feel like they're the baddest person that there is but everybody recognizes that you know what I'm never there's always somebody out there training harder than me there's always somebody out there you know doing something I'm not doing to get a leg up or whatever you're never gonna be the baddest so I, I would have preferred um, oblivion type uh, leveling in the game where you know monsters and so forth like that they leveled with me and commiserately with you know what those monsters are in terms of game lore and so forth so obviously I don't want to see a necker level up with me and be you know um, three or four levels higher than me every time I fight it and it just be hard as shit it's a fucking necker I mean I, those are really just ads but when you tell me I gotta fight a golem and and you know I know that golems are supposed to be this big bads that I'm supposed to prepare for wyverns or something like that you know then those are monsters that I want to see you know um, level and constantly represent a challenge to me I think that's 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 kind of fantasy you know <laughs> Did I go back the wrong way? No, I didn't. Okay. I'm kind of walking you guys through this one because it's, it's fairly simple. Um, we're not going to really encounter anything in here that's going to provide much of a challenge. Look to the depths to be lifted up. I had to actually um, do this once already, so that's probably why I'm so casual about it. Just because I was kind of confused on what the hell to do inside here. Um, <laughs> with this, I was confused to be honest with what to do with this, uh, with, hmm. with this little puzzle right Strange. here. But I'll show you, uh, this is kind of, this, like, realistically, this is just leading you to let you know you're supposed to be going to the center over there. And if, this chick again. Wraith Mutagen J. Um, the sign up here kind of tells you what it is. Looks to the depths to be lifted up. So um, we're gonna. We need to. We need to. Basically, we need to go down. Um, and if you notice, there's these statues, and one of them is looking inward, and. That's supposed to be your clue, is that you're supposed to look to the depths to be lifted up. So what do you think we have to do? Uh, it took me, like, I didn't get it. That that wasn't enough information for me. So, unfortunately, I'll be honest with you guys. I had to look it up to find out, you know, just what the hell um, I was supposed to do with that. And uh, it... it seems fairly obvious now because I but I feel like I felt like an idiot while that I couldn't figure this out but basically these guys need to be looking inward towards that spot where you can see the uh, puddle going towards so use these um, levers and that will get the um, the statues which look really cool by the way oh no 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 I didn't need you to turn again god damn it that will get the statues turning There we go, there we go. Okay. So that will get the statues turned in. Just basically get them all looking inward. Um, so yeah, I was saying about the game. So there are things in the game that could be fixed. And it's just... It's really weird how people will automatically see something and take other people's, you know, uh, opinions face value. Um, or they allow themselves to be hyped up like you know I have a couple of friends that like for instance I remember uh, buying Destiny and I, I'm still pissed off about that goddamn game it sucks so hard but um, who do you have to blame for that uh, you got nobody but yourself to blame you should have kind of like waited I guess if you could have There's you kind of get roped into the, the hype and sensationalism things and that's what happens you know it, it does happen but you gotta temper that stuff sometimes. Uh, it, it, it's never gonna. Everything's probably never gonna live up to your expectations. Is basically what I'm trying to say. And 
I think if you temper those expectations, then you probably would be better off. Nah, dude, turn inside. There we go. So now once you got them all turned inside, you notice the floor opens up. And I'm gonna save because I already know what's gonna happen. And I'll I mean that's kinda why you guys are watching the video, but I most of these videos I really try to make it as if though you know, not as if, but I'm trying to make it so that way I'm exploring it the first time as if though you guys were exploring it the first time. But when we jump inside of here, what we're looking for is a key. What the hell? What is it? So there's three drowners in the water and they're going to be trying to hold us under pretty much. <laughs> what is what's, what's the problem that's going to be coming up here in a second? But let's see if we can't... But uh, well, we got to dive down and then come back up. Uh, in order to mitigate that. Let's hook up our crossbow because we might be able to use a crossbow to just wax that ass. So dive down. To be honest with you, I have found too that um, these neck, these uh, drowners for instance, they really don't seem to fuck with you that much underneath water. I don't know if that's... Jesus. He's trying to hold me down. See that? Luckily I got out of there. Woo! Alright, so I got the key. Thank the gods. Uh... Know what we gonna do? Uh, we gotta go fight that uh, golem. So I think what I want to do is have Thunderbolt equipped. I think that's yeah. I think that's what I wanted. Thunderbolt and elemental. I'll put some elemental oil on my thing. Tony oil, black blood. Golden Oreo, white honey, there we go, Thunderbolt. And let's see if we can't drink right now to get our things going back. Yeah, so <laughs> my, my wife kept telling me, she goes, well, why do you keep drinking in combat, won't you? <laughs> it seems like it works perfectly fine if you use it out of combat, why don't you do that? <laughs> So yeah, I'll use those in order to get drunk outside of combat and regenerate health. They don't really regenerate that much health though. Um, so, at least not what I would consider health like Not what I would consider regenerate health. There's other items in the game that regenerate health way better. Um, yeah, and then we'll use this elemental oil as well. So we got that. Let's put some chicken over here. Okay. Now I am gonna still use my trusty Quinn to Arden thing to fight the golem because it just makes sense. <laughs> um, there are other things too that I'm hoping people uh, fix in the game that mod, like for instance, I think the fall damage. I, I, it's kind of ridiculous. I think it's I think it's a little asinine to be honest with you. Stop. I, I don't know when they believe that we would ever take that much damage from some of the falls that they make us take. Like I, I think I fell down a flight of stairs in this game at one point. <laughs> at one point, I'm not kidding. Like it was literally a, a, the landing of a flight of stairs, and I died. That that. That's not very, not even remotely close to accurate for, for I guess how things would actually, you know, work. But, okay. Alright, so we're going to save before we go in here for the golem. Alright. Okay. 
go point it up and then you're in I hate that shit so fucking much. It is annoying. But there you go. You see why I save. I hate that so much. Literally try to roll to the left and he just auto trapped on that ass and ran right through me. Now, if people wanted to complain about something that really is complainable about to me, it would be the combat system in the game. It, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. It's not great either. The control, the comp, the hit boxes are kind of weird. The animations for it are really weird to me. Um, it, it's really weird, and it, and it's, and it's pretty basic to be honest with you. That's the give me of it is that there he goes look at him auto track a little bit over there towards me uh, what the fuck damage to me but we'll eat our fried music and prepare for him. Auto track, Jesus Christ! I don't know why I didn't use that before. I mean, I haven't found a need, a reason, I don't know what you want to call it, but I haven't found anything that has warned me to use anything outside of those combos that I am using. Um, now, I, I would like to, you know, I would like to be forced into actually having to rely more on my potions and, um, you know, things like that, but it's just, it's, it's not there, you know. Most of the time I just find myself using fast attack and uh, that seems to do the trick. I don't know why I'm lighting all these things up. I just kind of, look at that, like, why would I take fall damage from that? I guess Geralt is the oldest Witcher there there is left.
just like this. We're gonna save. And thus awaits. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to kill him. Wow, it didn't work. <laughs> it worked the last time I was in here. Like no kidding you. There it goes. <laughs> okay. Wasn't sure why it didn't work this time, but <laughs> I don't know what he was supposed to be. But literally just one axi and that was it so we got our laboratory notebook a uh, moon blade which is a relic weapon another one feline and our feline gear um the base set take all of that take it all uh let's finish looting this place and that's gonna finish up for this video what point of the north oxenford another book we'll take a look at some of this stuff before we end the video i don't want to make that mistake again um alcast always a good thing to get rabbit pels dark iron ore oh look that another um a diagram and a manuscript so spike rock akaton and a manuscript page for enhanced insectoid oil. It'd be nice if I knew what a spike rock Agaton was, or you know, the game told me more in detail with that little bit of diagram information there. What the hell is that? So that way I know what to go look for, you know, the next when I go inside my inventory. Quite a bit in here. Ah, uh, Ruby. milk that was a really good healer before I know I, th I thought I saw something over the red over there I guess not the trail of the elder races you can collect these books and, and read them if you want to some of them are just read and see this is this is one of the reasons why I was like you know I, I would prefer the ability to um, zoom in because I would like to see these things and be able to go in close to them instead of having to figure out a way around to manipulate the camera in order to pull them up so that way I can loot them. Alrighty. Yeah, some ever loose. Alright, so we pretty much got all of that. Let's take a look in our inventory so that way we can see. Uh, what items we got so this looks like our moon blade it's a silver sword and it's a pretty god dang good silver sword on top of that comparing it to our other relic item that we have it's a big jump up in damage uh, by at least mm, not that big i guess by at least 20 something plus points but the abilities on there are pretty good i use yirden quite a bit when we're fighting race so the plus to yirden sign is pretty good the critical hit damage definitely pretty good um yeah so that this is a pretty good weapon uh, i'm gonna equip that one uh what else did we get inside here Ugh. 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 all right looks like it for that i know we did get some uh notes i guess they were so to speak so these are quest items laboratory notebook now i don't read these on on while i'm recording i'll read them later on i i just open them up so that way it gives me whatever quest information it needs to give me but yeah i won't read them in front of you right now it's kind of silly to me search notes invoice for a golem 
I figured that was something they just made, not they purchased a the goddamn golem. Mage notes. Alright. And then, oh, almost forgot. We almost forgot. We almost forgot. Almost forgot. <laughs> um, our diagrams. So, we finally have these items. Our feline boots. If that was a piece of gear that you were looking for, these items are going to be able to be used at level 14. We have the feline boots inside here. Um, not bad for, like, eh, yeah. Okay. Um... We have the feline armor but we need a shirt in order to make it I, I sold that shirt that I had uh, so I'm gonna have to go buy one from someone uh, what else did we get so we should have the feline trousers and the gauntlets as well we have that feline crossbow and there goes the feline gauntlet I wish there was a um, that's the other thing. I really do wish that there was a, uh, a, a try it on, a preview. So that way maybe if I right clicked on this or something like that, you know, it would pull up and show me what this was going to look like on. So that way I could tell whether or not I want to waste my time making it or if I wanted it rather. So, but no, that's, that's not there. But these are things that I hope people, uh, the, mod, the community that's going to set out to mod will get will 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 end up doing those are useful things that i think could be developed and where's those feline trousers here goes our feline trousers right here so all level 14 gear that you can throw on i'm i can't say i'm gonna make that gear just because like i said i I, I'm content to wait till level 17 and take whatever gear the game is going to give me and until then and I'll make it work one way or another. But, uh, yeah, so we just found that cat school. Find the diagrams of all elements of the cat school. So we literally only have um, one other area to go to in order to complete that quest and that's the ruins of S. Tyre, I think I said. Hmm. I guess we'll find out where that is next time. The ruins of S. Tyre. Oh, here we go. It's all the way down over here. Okay, so we'll probably head on over here um, next time. I know some other areas over here where there's supposed to be cat, uh, where there's also supposed to be cat gear. So we'll probably explore those too before we jump back on the main quest with Pyres of Novigrad. Um, that gives them gives it time for me to find out whether or not that patch actually worked. If you guys haven't noticed, the Witcher website has crashed. It's literally not loading. And uh, I think that's due to the popularity of the game and how many people really were waiting on that quest. So that way they can download it and uh, pull the information. I got mine from GOG, so, or uh, GOG, so GOG.com, so I didn't have to go there. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people are jumping on that site and it's literally pulling it down. So thanks guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Remember, have fun.